get an all comprehensive uh, uh, look at uh, some of the stories that are making headlines and of course the hits and misses in the budget something that we've just uh, talked about here with Paul you will find all that in the standard newspaper all right let's take a look at what the Daily Nation has for us and of course top page we have the uh, demonstrations that is page one page two page three of the Daily Nation the violence and the demonstrations that were uh, there yesterday but uh, I mean, look at look at this supermarket that was uh, Tumaini uh, in, 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 in Kisumu. In Kisumu, ah. I mean, as, as as we protest and and, and uh, as we have a right to to demonstrate, mm -hmm. I mean, the constitution guarantees as a right to have what we call a peaceful demonstration. Demonstration, yes. Uh, and if we move out of that, then uh, it stops being um, really a right that we we should be enjoying. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, if if I were the people organizing this orga this this demonstration, yes. I will make it upon myself to ensure mm -hmm. that this is as peaceful as it can be. That property is not destroyed, mm -hmm. that innocent people are not inconvenienced, uh, yes. and then this will also help them to even get public support mm -hmm. on it. Mm -hmm. But the moment you start destroying property, you start I mean uh, inconvenience. Yeah, the motorists. demonstration yeah. is now linked to yeah. violence. Yeah, now the moment mm -hmm. people start seeing that kind of destruction, mm -hmm. then probably you lose uh, the support that the demonstration actually needs to do mm -hmm. needs to have. So I think it's. It's time that we also looked at it in terms of, uh, I mean, these are, these are investors mm -hmm. in Kisumu. They, they are, I'm sure they're employing, the people who are working there are not coming from any other parts of the country, mm -hmm. but they're locals. So if you make investors really worry about putting money in Kisumu, for yeah. instance, you, you are really just uh, not, you are doing this, the, the, I mean, the service to your own uh, uh, locality. So I think we need to balance yeah, these yeah. and ensure we, we that. Saw, uh, we saw Senator James Orengo call for those who will be protesting to maintain peace, but do you think the leaders should also be held accountable when such things happen and uh, the other ones who are spearheading the protests? Uh, largely, yes, because these are the people who uh, their supporters really listen to them. I mean, if if, if, if Rela Odinga would speak to, 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 to people and tell them, look, this is a peaceful demonstration, we have to walk from point A to point B and destroy nothing, they will listen to them. Mm -hmm. But most of the time, the, 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 the leaders come in after some of these things have already happened. Mm -hmm. so, so they'll be waiting somewhere in a hotel, having a cup of tea, as their, as their supporters come into the venue and as they grow maybe impatient waiting mm -hmm. for them, mm -hmm. they, find, they find ways of, of getting around it. But some of the people who are destroying this property may not actually be called supporters or, or, or whatever. Yes. Some, mm -hmm. are, I mean, there are reports that some of them just people who take advantage who want to make uh, the, 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 the protest look uh, really violent, so they take advantage of that to, to, to so do So there's this. so many ways to but look at There are many ways of looking happening. at it, but, yeah. the, uh, but the bottom line is mm -hmm. whoever is doing it should be stopped. And I think mm -hmm. this is where the police have to use uh, uh, some, some significant um, um, uh, manpower to ensure mm -hmm. that they stop this by protecting property. 